Sanju Samson has just played one of the greatest knocks in the history of the IPL. Walking into bat at 0 for 1 after losing Ben Stokes, one of Rajasthan's best batsmen, Sanju Samson took control right away. The pacing of this innings was done to perfection. He made sure the Rajasthan Royals were never out of contention of winning the match, despite chasing a mammoth score of 222. When Sanju Samson gets going, like he did versus the Punjab Kings, his stroke play is one of the most eloquent and effortless you will ever see in world cricket. With Rajasthan needing just 68 off their last 5 overs, with a set Sanju Samson in and Rahul Tewati and Chris Morris to come, you knew it was game on. The Rajasthan inched closer and closer with Samson taking the main charge. Samson's stroke play has seemed to become more exquisite as the game was entering its later stages. With Rajasthan needing just 26 off the last 15, Sanju Samson became the first player in IPL history to score a century on captaincy debut. However, he knew that his job was still far from being over. Samson kept going and kept striking boundaries when needed. However, the Punjab Kings death bowlers were spot on. With 11 needed off 3 and hope slipping away from Rajasthan, Samson struck a 6 straight down the ground and completely changed the mood of the match yet again. 5 was needed off the last ball and an informed Samson was batting. He struck a ball straight down the ground and everyone had thought it had gone for 6. However, it was caught on the boundary and Sanju Samson's amazing knock unfortunately went in vain. But why did it go in vain? What went wrong for the Rajasthan Royals? Well, when 5 was needed off the last 2 balls, Sanju Samson struck a ball straight down the ground. At the other end was a power hitting 16.25 crore bot Chris Morris. When the fielder had collected the ball, everyone thought they had sprinted 2 or at least ran 1. However, no run was taken on this ball. Chris Morris initially wanted to run, but Sanju Samson sent him back. He didn't take the 1 because he obviously wanted to keep strike. But if they had sprinted, they could have run 2 here. Yes, it's understandable that Samson was tired, he had batted 20 overs and had just played the innings of his life. But when you're playing at the highest level of sport, it's necessary to do anything you can in order to help your team win the game. They run the 2, and now it's suddenly 3 off 1, which is a completely different ball game. The Rajasthan dugout was stunned. They knew how different the game could have been if it was 3 off 1 needed instead of 5 off 1. A single wasn't taken because ultimately, whether the equation was 5 off 1 or 4 off 1, a boundary needed to be hit. I think it's pretty fair to say that most people would have backed Sanju Samson to hit the boundary who was batting on 119 rather than Chris Morris who had just faced 4 deliveries. We saw a similar situation to this in the 2014 T20 match between India and England. Mahender Singh Dhoni turned down singles to an in-form Ambati Raidu in the last over of the T20 match. India, just like Rajasthan, needed 5 off 2 when the runs were refused. Both teams failed to finish the match off the last ball. Regardless of how it ended for Sanju Samson, his innings is still one of the best T20 cricket has ever seen. Losing an early wicket chasing 222 and taking charge right away is never easy, but Samson did exactly that. With the most effortless stroke play you will ever see, Sanju Samson's innings will be remembered for a long, long time.